Today I want to share with you a small section of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And it's the section on prayer. It's a short section and I think it's very rich. Because Jesus, according to Matthew here, Jesus is speaking to the crowds. And he's speaking from his own experience, his own concerns, his own hopes and dreams. As we know, he had begun his public mission when he gave the Sermon on the Mount. And when he speaks on prayer, Jesus says, and this is briefly the text, when you pray, go to your private room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who is in that place sees all that is done in secret and he will reward you. So let's just have a look at the text itself. It speaks to me, and hopefully it might speak to you as well. When you pray, in other words, when you set time aside, when you take a special moment, when you enter into a dialogue, a listening to, a being aware of the presence of God in your life, I know Paul says we want always to pray, and we do, we pray always, but there are times when there is explicit, concentrated prayer. When you pray, go to your private room, says Jesus. Go to your private room. Go in here. Yeah. Go to your very private room, your very self. Go in. For some that'll be a bit more, go into your head. Others go into your heart. Others go into your gut. Some will be more nourished by ideas, others by affect, and others by fire or passion. But go into your private room. And then Jesus says, and shut the door. I think what he means here is leave outside all your plans, your projects, your concerns, your hurts, and even your holy thoughts. Have that space within just for you and your God. Leave aside, and it's not putting them down or dismissing them, but leave aside all these other interests and concerns that you have. And just be there with your God. And then pray to your father. And it's not just any father, it's our father. The one who should be known as daddy, pop, pa. The intimate relationship that Jesus says God has with us. Because he treats us as beloved sons and daughters just as he treats his son. Yeah? And your father who is in that place, we've just celebrated the Feast of the Trinity, and we've been very much aware of the indwelling of the twin Trinity. Sure, God is up there and out there, but he's also in here. And to meet him, come in here as well. Yeah? Give him space, give him time, because he's already there. The Father who is in that secret place and sees all that happens in secret. God knows all. God loves all. God cares for all. And he who knows all that is done in secret will reward you. Now, probably not with a tif tif ticket to the grand final, unfortunately. But he rewards you with peace, with love, with purpose. And he rewards you with the Spirit. 
and as we've seen, the spirit of truth and the spirit of life. And why I think these speak to me so much, because the Gospels tell us that so often Jesus went off to a desolate place, alone, and prayed with his Father. So Jesus also, when he prayed explicitly, he went off to a secret place, to a private room. And he shut the door. He went alone and he prayed to his Father. I think it's a lovely text and it's worth looking at in Matthew in the Sermon on the Mount. So I hope it helps you half as much as it helped me. Thank you.